Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, to the world away, and we're now going to be doing stages 45, 46, 47, and 48 of the IXO Collections release of Build the Peugeot 205 1.9 GTI. Now, you know what? The car is just up the top there. We don't even need it at all today, which is amazing because we're going to be working on the floor pan. We're going to be doing a lot of the upholstery, a lot of the carpeting. This is going to look pretty mind-blowing at the end of it. Uh, I've seen some of the pieces that we're going to be getting and some of the carpet. It does look good. The red is unbelievable. But if you want to get this for yourself, once again, I've put the link down the bottom here for the IXO Collections website. Uh, they do post to loads and loads of countries worldwide. So if your country is not listed and you can see what countries are listed by going to the community tag on my YouTube page and just scroll down a bit, you'll see uh, a message from IXO Collections about what countries they deliver to. Again, if your country is not listed, get in touch with them anyway, because I'm sure they can sort something out for you. Uh, another thing that I've got is this absolutely amazing blueprint from the folks over at Parkwork upgrades.com uh, this is going to be complementing the vehicle and i'll be displaying this right next to it when the vehicle is complete but you know what i've been looking forward to doing this one all week so without further ado let's get cracking so this is what the floor pan looks like all red all ready to go for you but this is like the carpet material and it is an absolute brilliant material it's adhesive on one side and it's been flocked with this lovely red pattern or red flocking on the top there so it's lovely and smooth uh, we're going to be putting this in starting with this section here going around the holes here now this is going to fold over like that but we are going to leave this area just clear for the minute so what i'm going to do is uh, i'm going to take the uh, sticky off here but i won't be folding over this bit here now there are different techniques to doing this one, but what I'm going to do is I've taken the whole sticky off to start off with and I'm going to line up the two middle holes first. Like that. By doing that, it should have automatically lined up the holes at the end here, which it has, and the holes at that end there. So I'm just going to push that down and then fold it round the central beam there. Now I'm pushing it from one end to the other. So I've got a nice straight line in there and doing the same from this end here. Making sure that's got all the way over to the other side. Now eventually that's gonna get hidden by chairs anyway, but I wanna make sure it looks good. Now we're gonna be putting this piece in here into the left side of the console base. So again, take the uh, stickiness off here. This time I'm not taking the full thing off. I'm folding it over because it's going to be a little bit more tricky to fit. So I can line up this section first until I'm happy where it is. Then I can take this off. And I'm lining the top edge of this up with that central console there. And then pushing that into place. Now for that, I'm going to use a tongue depressor here. Just to push that in where it goes at the bottom there. So that makes sure that's fully in. And that looks like that. We'll do exactly the same on the other side. God, this is enjoyable. I was going to say there's going to be absolutely no screwing in this one, but I've just uh, glanced over to my left and saw there's a couple of screws. <laughs> so once again, I'll put this one in. And there we go. Pushing that into place. And that's that side done too. Now these two sections that we've got looking like that are gonna go basically on this side here and the other one will be going uh, same location on this side over this side. So I'm gonna get both of these in 
Now for these ones, I'm matching up the holes on this side, but putting them close to the edge. So I've got one in. And then line up the edge for the second one. That's looking good. Just like that. And then we'll fold these bits over, but keep the flaps here completely straight. Again, I'm going to use my tongue depressor just to get a nice tight angle there. Perfect. Do the same on the other side. And then once again, line up this hole here. Work my way along. To the hole on the other side and then once again just fold these edges down perfect and that is pretty much that in place at the moment and now we're going to have to put the safety belt guides in so there is two things to do they're just going to go onto this back section here above the holes that we can see on each side here held in with AP screws now, I say screws, it's only one screw that we're going to be putting in. And that's just going to be at the back section here. And that will keep that in place. And we do the same on the other side. Now, one of these is round. One of them is square. It's the square, it's the round side, sorry, that's going to go into the section just at the back there. So I'll put this one in too. And I've just noticed... <laughs> Typical that the first one I've put in, I went and put the square section in. I bet you're all screaming at the screen there, wasn't you? If I don't do these mistakes, I can't prove that you're not paying attention. <laughs> okay, so this one's going in as well. And there we go, they're all in. And that's all there is to do in that stage. So this is issue 46, or stage 46. I'll get all of these parts out, and as you can see, we've got some details for the uh, floor pan. We're gonna start doing the central column soon as well, and we've got some more carpet to put down here. This large piece here is actually the parking brake mount. This will be the first thing that we put on. So I turn this over like that, and you can pretty much see where this is gonna go. I just put this into that section there. It's going to be held in with some AP screws. So I've got them here. And there's me thinking I got away with uh, doing any screwing today. <laughs> now this is going to be held in with three AP screws. So we've got one here. One right down the front here. Excellent. Don't have to do it too tight. It's only going into plastic. And then one just this side here. Excellent, so that looks like that now. Now, either side of this section here, we've got this bit of carpet which is gonna go round that section. So I'm just gonna see how it goes. We want it tightest to this end over here. So it's not gonna go all the way round this unit, I'm aware of that. Uh, what you need to be aware of though, is that this is thinner here than it is here. So you need to make sure that this is in the right way. So this is gonna go in kind of like that so i'll take the uh, adhesive off it's gonna be a bit tricky this one i think and get this in now i think the important thing about this one is to make sure it's the top edge that we're lining up so i've started this off and when i say top edge i'm talking about the top edge of the uh of this component that we just put in. There we go. That looks good on that side. Do the same on the other side. And 
and then that's that side in as well excellent now we've got this lovely shaped back piece this is just going to go over the rear section so it's going to be this way around fitting underneath these levers that we put in before these braces sorry push that around a little bit and then it will fold over to the top so we'll get this one out as well now with this one i think i'm going to just take off half of the adhesive on the back just till i've lined up the bottoms of this because it's got to go underneath one unit it's probably best to to line the central column up first that's looking good then I'll get the rest of this off you should pretty much now guide itself in which it does and then just fold over the tops here I'm a brave man to be filming this, I tell you. <laughs> this could go horribly wrong. When that's in, that should look like that. The last piece we've got is just gonna go over this section here. Now there is a slight bend in this. So it is shaped, but I'll put that all the way over the top. Just like that. Get that into place, that looks good. There you go. We can put that to one side because we're just gonna be working on the parking brake now. This is the housing for the parking brake and this is what the brake looks like. What we're gonna do is uh, offer that to the inside of this section. Now it is directional so that when it's in, it should fit flat that side but it should look like that from the other side there. Now we need to keep this in place. So we've got this little clip here which is gonna go over the middle part of the console and it's going to be screwed in with AP screws. I've got one of these already open, a bit handy. So I'll get that in there and then that handbrake is not going to move. Well it will move <laughs> but it's not going to come out as you can see. It can go up and down, it does hold itself as well. Bring back over the center console here because this is going to go onto this section here it's going to be going this way around fitting like that held in from the other side here which you have guessed is ap screws i'll turn it over that's the first one in let's put the second one in here that's the second one then I'll hold this in my hand and just make these nice and tight excellent and there we go that's the handbrake in place now if this is the right hand side of the vehicle and this is the left hand side of the vehicle we're just going to put these safety belt catches in now they have got an R and an L on them and we basically go in towards the, the, the handbrake here so when I put these in it wants to go in Let's just put this one in this way. As you can see, it's going inwards. Do the same on the left-hand side. I can't believe the detail in these. Oh, I've put that one in the wrong way. Turn that around. There we go. So now that should look like that. And that is all there is to do in that stage. Now, stage 47, we have got loads of pieces of carpet here, and we've got the big stuff now. So this is gonna pretty much carpet the rest of the vehicle. We also have a little floor mat there. Look at that, how detailed is that? Okay, so bringing this over like this, the first thing we're gonna be putting in is these front mats here. So this is gonna go in just like that. We do have holes in this side here, which are gonna match the holes just there. So that's what I'm gonna be matching up when I lay this in. So I'm going to line up the holes. Just like that. And the rest of the carpet should then fall into place, which it does, as you can see. Oh boy, did I make that look easy. <laughs> there we go. Just using this. The reason I use this, it's got a blunt edge. It hasn't got a, a straight, a, a sharp edge that could cut this. 
So there we go, that's that one in. We're gonna do exactly the same on the other side here. This time I'm gonna match up the base. And again, made that look easy. <laughs> but there we go, that's those two in at the front there. And then we've got the two sides which are gonna go round this section at the back, just like, whoops, get this one in as well, just like that. So I'll get these in. Now with this one, I wanna line it up to that center console there. Like that. That looks good. So we've got one side in, and then we do the same on the other side. You know what, years of putting in uh, football stickers into magazines <laughs> is what's prepared me now for what I'm doing. <laughs> bless all let me belt things falling out let me just put that back in it is just a push to fit that one but there we go that's now looking like that how cool does that look <laughs> so now i'm going to be putting these side panels in now they are labeled l and r so we want the left hand side one that's just going to go into the side here into put the lug in that hole there over the top drive that in with an ap screw that's the left side done and then we're gonna do exactly the same thing on the right side here. So once again, push that in, get the AP screw. And that will go in through the top there. What an enjoyable part this is, I'm loving this. Then we're gonna turn this upside down because we've got some real wheel arches to put in. And uh, again, they are labeled a big R there and an L. So I've got the right hand side one first. So the two points you can see down the bottom there, these are gonna go on just like that. Now they're gonna be held in once again with AP screws. I haven't put it in all the way and I'm very conscious of the pressure that's gonna be put on there. So I don't really wanna leave this on its front too much. Probably best to actually lay out on its side when we're putting these ones in. So make that nice and tight. One there. And the one at the top. Excellent, that should be quite stiff in there. We're gonna do exactly the same thing on the other side. So again, I'm doing really gentle when I put that down because there is an enormous amount of pressure on that side but i'm only doing that just to start this off and then i will uh, pick it up so this is going in like that line up the one hole not too tight just so i can get the second one in that's the second one in then i can tighten this fully up so there you go that now looks like that we're going to take out one of the mats and that's just going to be pushed into the holes that you can see just here just like that push that in so obviously the lines on the mat are going this way it will hold itself in no problems at all and that is now the mat in place and that's all there is to do in this stage Now in the last stage here, we've just got the center console to put in and we have got a little bit more carpeting to do. So with this carpet in here, the first thing we're gonna do is we're actually gonna just put this onto the sides of the center console like this. So I'll get this off. 
I don't know why, but I think at the moment, out of this build, this is probably my favourite part. <laughs> I've really enjoyed doing this one. So, line up the edges. Make sure this section here is over the hole we got there. So there we go, that's one side in. Do the same on the other side. And I believe that might be the last time we have to uh, put this flocking on the actual interior. I don't know if we've got to do it for the door cards later on. We may do. And that's the second side there. Looking good. Now we've got these vent grills to put in. They're just going to be pushed to fit in each side. So we've got the left one on this side. Push that in. Make sure that's nice and tight in there. And we do exactly the same on the right hand side. It's amazing how one little detail can make that pop big time. <laughs> we can just put that to one side because we've got to put the uh, car radio into the central unit here. So this is what the radio looks like. Now you have got a thick lug and a thin one at the back. They're just going to match the holes there. So that's going to go in this way to push that in. Quite a tight fit, but it will clip into place like that. And this is going to go onto the center console. Pushed in at the front. Just making sure that's nice and tight. There we go. So that's in nice and secure. Doesn't actually really need securing in at all. Which is probably for the best because now we're just going to be assembling the gear shift. So to assemble the gear shift, we're going to take this section here. Put the gear shift lever through the top and then in the bottom there it's just going to be cl clipped in to this section here that's going to keep everything in place and then we push that together so there we go we have got a gear shift which looks brilliant and then that's just going to go through the bottom of this section here like that and eventually when this is actually attached to the center of the vehicle that's going to hold that in place as a matter of fact let's put it on even though we're not meant to do this now, but you know what I'm like, I can't, I can't resist. <laughs> I'm gonna turn this around to where it goes, put this on where it goes, and that is the gear shift lever in place. And that is all there is to do in that pack. What an enjoyable pack that was, and I'm sure you'll agree, that looks absolutely brilliant. I'm so happy we've had the detail in that. This is definitely becoming one of my favorite builds, definitely. Look at me with my big smile on my face. I didn't think I'd get so much enjoyment out of putting carpet in, but it did. It took me back to my days of putting the uh, football stickers in my albums or the movie stickers. Anyway, look, if you want to get this for yourself, once again, I'll put the link for IXO Collections down the bottom there. As I said, it is available in most countries. If your country's not listed, then just uh, give them a quick email and they'll be able to let you know. Out of all the deliveries I've had from every manufacturer, IXO Collections are the ones that have been coming on clockwork, on time, no problems at all. Uh, but I really do hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please remember to subscribe. Other than that, take care.